Hey guys, what's up? It's Hydroponic Caravan, and we're back for episode two of Kachao Shima Kosaku. Uh, whatever the hell it is. I don't know. That text based Japanese gamey thing. He's back in the pedophile office with Carlton. Carlton! Good morning, Carlton! Sorry if the audio, um, like the in-game audio was a bit loud. Carlton, I know all about you. I know all of your secrets. Because I recorded them last night on our blind dates. Yeah, that one where you got really drunk. You had three entire bottles of whiskey. I mean scotch. Yeah, three entire bottles of it. You were pretty drunk. I'm honestly surprised I'm at work today. I'm, I'm a little hungover. Yes. I mean, uh, you know, it's... It's a little strange. Why, why, why am I, why am I turning into Dr. Strangelove? My, mein Führer, mein Führer, I am Dr. Strangelove. I love the nuclear bombs. Got a, little, got a little Arabic there, but it's, it's fine. Dr. Strangelove is happy, man Fiera. Man Fiera, I mean Mr. President. Hell! <laughs> so he's now an ex-Nazi pedophile. Dramatic anger. With Leighton the nerd. Son of Carlton. Hello there, Mr. Protagonist. You look very sad. Would you like me to make you a bit happier? No, she is mine, Carlton. I mean, Protagonist. She belongs to Dr. Strangelove. Mine, Fiona. <laughs> she belongs to Dr. Strangelove. I discovered this man attempting to have intercourse with my lady. Well, Carlton, strange love. Your argument appears to be very valid. Protagonist, what do you have to say for yourself? Don't give me the silent treatment, young man. I'm talking to you. What do you have to say to yourself? Carlton, shut the Fuck up. Well, you see, I was, uh, I was just saying hello. I was being friendly. Oh, really? I'm not. Mein Fiona, I am certain this is not what was happening. Well, I'm getting all these voices of Maddie confused in my head right now. And he now sounds a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I will hear the lamentations of your women. Serious protagonist to serious. I had to like guzzle water doing all these voices. It's just breaking my throat. Well, I'm not having too much live audio. Oh hey, protagonist boy's in the pink suit now. It's a little awkward, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's Easter. I'm not gonna judge him. I'm, no, I'm, I'm not going to call him gay. I know you think I, I'm not going to call him gay. It's obviously Easter. He's going, he's going to a benefit concert for the Pedophile Space Expedition. And he's listening to smooth jazz. A bit smooth jazz, too. Shit's jazzy.
okay. No more jazz. And, and then he took the little girl back to his house. And the rest of it was censored by Nintendo. Because this was before games were rated. Our kicking tunes back. Shit just got real. What's up with this text box? Like, do they suddenly actually get text box from this game? Text boxes? Actually, this isn't the game I thought I was going to get. Um, actually, I was going to play this game that Zeta played a while back, which was similar to this as far as the gameplay or lack thereof is concerned, but, um, it's a completely different game. I was like, when I, when I went to get the ROM, I was looking at the screenshots, and I'm like, that was not the game that Zeta played. Uh, it's not at all. So here we are. In the city of Ching Chong Dingy Dong. No, that's racist. I'm not gonna call it that. I, I, I could not genuinely call it that for the entirety of this LP. But it's a city. Uh, it's raining. The dramatic day with the dramatic hero protagonist. Yeah, I haven't had any choices in a while. It's all been a lot of text recently. Been a general lack of choices. It's cool. We've got upbeat. Kind of reminds me of uh, Earthbound. Is it just me? This really has an Earthbound feel going for it right now. I don't know why. Feels very Earthboundish. Now he's back at the pedophile space snap. It's pedophile NASA, that's what it is. We'll call it Pedo NASA. His name is Pedo NASA. And that shall be its name, and it shall be glorious. So this is apparently, as I learned from the Wikipedia page, theoretically on it. Oh, I'm another lady. Aside, aside from protagonist gallivanting about with all ten ladies. Um... Oh, hey, it's this guy again. I don't even remember who he was. Well, he was the guy who was fat, wasn't he? I don't even remember what I was thinking. Yeah, so according to the Wikipedia page, this is originally a manga from the 90s that just got transformed into a video game series. What's up with all these buttons? Got hella buttons. This game is very mind-numbing. It would probably help if it was actually in English. Just the Japanese is just... Is that... Why... What? Is that bread in cubes in bags? Is this... Is this turning into Mario sh go Mario does the weekly shopping? I really hope this isn't turning into Mario does the weekly shopping. I'd be disappointed if it was. I really would be. I didn't have high expectations. Oh, hey, finally a choice. Let's see, so we're just talking to Obese Man. So number one is eat a Twinkie with Obese Man, as in you both share it. Number two is you both eat your own Twinkie. Number three is you have a Twinkie, then the Obese Man steals it. And number four is you eat a salad and laugh at him and call yourself superior. Number two. I don't actually remember what that was. That was... Oh, you both eat a Twinkie. You both have an individual Twinkie. Men are vegan is raging right now. Game is a great musical score. If anything, you know, maybe lacking completely as far as gameplay is concerned, but it's got good music and that's what matters. I'm actually going to move my mic a bit closer to myself and away from my computer, so I got to tell you my computer is being loud right now. This has a tendency to do, so I hope that's a bit better for you guys. I moved the uh, speakers along with it, so the audio ought to be the same. I might be a bit louder, but that's okay. I am. I have completely stopped making up a story for this. I don't even know what the fuck's going on right now. I'm assuming he's still trying to help, uh, Pedo NASA succeed in its great space mission. Oh, another lady! How many ladies will we meet? 
if this turns into some sort of hentai game, I'd say that could be kind of interesting, but I wouldn't be able to post it on YouTube. Which would really defeat the purpose. See, he's actually developing a relationship with this woman. And then we're going to get a choice, and I'm evidently... Just because, knowing my luck, I'm going to pick the one that calls her a bitch. Apparently our protagonist is 29 years old. And our audio is going to lag horribly. Well, this sure is exciting. So... I have a feeling even if this was in English, it would be incredibly boring. Like, just nothing is happening at all. Oh my god, this woman's 37 years old. Wow, she, she hides it well. A bit old for you there, Tiger. Bit, bit old for you there. Um, I mean, you're not even 30. She's almost 40, man. I mean, that's almost 20 years of difference. And who just says something about a 10-year-old? I mean, really? This is definitely a pedophile game. I'm certain of it. It's in Japanese, so it would support my hypothesis. I think literally, I've done nothing in this entire game except use the up and down on the D-pad and hit the A button repeatedly. That's the thing I just speed through the entire game by just tapping the A button. Oh my god. But it turns out she was married to a 60-year-old that looks like he just popped out of the 80s. I'm now assuming all the numbers here are ages. Well, this is an awkward situation for our protagonist. Um, it's a very awkward situation for our protagonist. this solution. Apparently by teleporting. I'm so fucking confused right now. What time am I at? Time. Oh, I'm only at like 12 minutes. Screw that. I'll keep playing for a while. Got our investigation music up in here. So we're trying to figure. I'm going to assume he's trying to figure out how to get himself out of the predicament of that woman that he just met and had started a relationship with turns out to be married to someone 20 years older than her. So the first solution is to break it off entirely. The second solution is to continue to have an affair with her. The third solution is to plead with her husband to let her have an open relationship. And the fourth option is to uh, what should the fourth option be? I think the fourth option should be you attempt to murder the husband. We have the first option. Break it off entirely. It's over. You're no longer dating the MILF. And now you're back hanging out with your obese friend again, because you're forever alone. He's telling you about Mists of Pandaria, about how it rips off Pokemon, and about how pandas are so cool. And about how you do kung fu. And that guy has a very bizarrely shaped head. Oh, what was that guy in that man? It was the most e excellent plan. No, they got a little elevatorish. Um, God, I don't remember. Who's that guy? It was one of the '60s Batman villains, Egghead. Where every th everything he said somehow incorporated egg into it. It was very bizarre. The, the writers really had to work pretty hard for that one, I think. It was a most excellent plan.
I think there are only three expressions for our protagonist. There's a serious face, there's the morose face, and there's the angry face. You can tell when he's angry because the background starts flashing red. I have a feeling that I, I hope this game is just, um, isn't circular at all. Like, if you get the wrong answer, you just get put back to the beginning. I hope it just shuffles you through just whatever tree you take. Whatever, like, branch of the tree you take. So you're just talking to Egghead from the 60s Batman. Episode 1 is to find Commissioner Gordon and get him to shine the bat symbol. Uh, number two is to, uh, I don't know, what should number two be? Number two, you ally yourself with the Egghead and attempt to destroy Batman once and for all. Number three is you laugh at him and then promptly eat an omelet. And number four is you wake up realizing that... You were in fact on an acid trip the entire time and did not somehow get transported into the Batman universe. Roll. Number one. You try to find Commissioner Gordon and shine the bat symbol for justice. And this is the awkward point where you run into the MILF that you just had a relationship with, then broke it off because she was married. So now you're in an awkward position. And you both feel bad about it. And there's a very, very bad organ. And then she confesses that she's actually 800 years old. And is in fact a highly advanced and evolved Velociraptor. It turns out the MILF is in fact not a MILF, but an 800 year old highly evolved Velociraptor. And my phone going off, but luckily I can carry on a text message conversation while playing this game because there is no gameplay to be found. Uh. Okay, my friend just texted me. Tra -la 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 Go figure. Oh, you're back in the, back in your Easter suit again. Yeah, ready to get some religious revival up in here. Oh, and the 800-year-old, highly evolved Velociraptor is returning, it's calling you again. It's a little awkward. Uh, she won't stop bothering you now. Now she's at your house. She just she bursts through the door, and you're like, okay, you're 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 a couple hundred years older than me. This is awkward. You're married. Uh, we should just avoid the situation. Why the hell is the lamp giving off blue light? I can understand, I can understand it around because it's a blue lampshade, but it's actually giving off light underneath of it that's blue. That means you have to have a blue light bulb in there. So you're like about to party up in here. I wonder what my time's at. About 18 minutes. So I'm with this little cutscene section here, I think. Now, I th actually, I think I want to pause at this dramatic, intense moment where he finally confronts the 800-year-old, highly evolved Velociraptor about his true feelings for her cousin. Thank you for watching. This has been Hydroponic Caravan signing off. Tune in next time for the ec the epic sequel -y installment next episode thingy of this goddamn Japanese game that I can't remember the name of. Good night.